Hello, Captains. This is Metaman. Today we're looking at a battle I had in the Mogador. A friend and player in my clan had brought up um, that I usually use the Laterrible and that I haven't been showing any higher tier uh, French destroyer player and he was wanting an evaluation on the Mogador. Here at the beginning of the match we do have a, a CV in this match. I'm backing away. You know in the French destroyers your weakness is you do not have smoke. You do not have good AA. So right off the bat I am always going to try to avoid CVs when possible. Here heading up to cap. Just going to get a spot early on. I see that the Riga had radared, and we find out that the Tier 7 destroyer is over here, which that means he's well overmatched. I'm a Tier 9. I have great burst damage. Um, all the French line, as soon as you get to the reload booster, as soon as I see this Edinburgh, I'm ready to abandon my attack. There's no reason for me to attack when Edinburgh, yes, he's a Tier 8, but... There's no reason to give away a bunch of health. You notice that I turn out and not turn in. That's just in case somebody else has a radar so I don't get stuck right behind that rock with Edinburgh on one side and those other ships on the other. Here you'll also notice that if I was that DD on the other end of that rock, I would, if I'm going to stick my head out, I'm going to stick my head out just on either side of that rock. That's why I sent those torps that way. But my evaluation on the Mogador, um, she is a little bit lower in the win rate than some of the other uh, French destroyers. Here I had AP loaded. I messed up. He's going to start shooting on me. And now uh, there's two DDs on me at the same time. But watch the burst damage go out on this uh, Yugamo. And where did I say that that uh, Bliskva would... Uh, Stick his head out right behind that rock. And what happened? He just ate all my torps and he's dead. But watch the burst damage on this Yugamo. So I've taken care of one DD. And I'm taking a pretty good amount of health from this other DD. But the Mogador, there's a changing going from tier 8 to tier 9 for the French. One, you have slower reload, but you have... Eight guns instead of five. That's huge difference as in alpha damage. But you are losing that um, round, you know, just keep shooting those rounds. It feels like you're going slower. Um, the main difference is you have more firepower with the, those eight guns instead of five. But I think that the reason the Mogador suffers win rate is... You change from going from La Fantasque at 6.4 kilometer range detection out to 7.5 with the Mogador. So I think there's a learning curve. But here's the good news. After you get used to that learning curve, the Mogador, the Kleber, you're going to, you're going to, if you can get past that, um, Different. See, I wish I would have shot those torps just a little bit later, and I, I would have got him, or a little closer. But after, if you can get adjusted to that extra kilometer, which is huge, of detection, you're getting a lot more firepower. You're going to get a little bit less chance at deletions, like I do in the Laterrible, but you're going to make up for it in guns. You see my teammate shot at me right there. He's mad that I left Alpha. But you got to understand that there's five ships over there and there's no ships in Bravo. I'm going to go get my cap. We were going to be three on two or three on five over there. And over here, I'm one on zero. So I'm going to go where I can get the free cap. And if you watch, he's going to survive. He just has to limp off. There's no reason for us to fight five on three. I already killed one of them, but there's no reason to keep fighting there. Here, I'm just going to try to get my defensive flags. 
But after you get used to the extra kilometer difference, you're going to be fine. Um, I really like the French, no matter what tier. But you've seen that I caught the, the Beliskova with those torps. I was putting a hurting on that Yugamo. There's certain advantages the French have that other ones don't. You can flex all over the map. Now, when we were over at Alpha, if I was in a traditional DD, I might have been able to slither away and get over to Bravo, but maybe I wouldn't. Here, it was, it was a no-brainer. I knew I could get right over here and get the cap. Get my torps off over at this uh, Ganais now. But pay attention to this. This is something that a lot of captains make a mistake on. I get those torps out. I am going to become visible. But notice that I'm staying. I'm not shooting. That does two things. One, I'm going to try to disappear. But the bigger factor, if I shoot at him, he's going to turn. And I really did expect him when he seen me to turn in. But if I would have shot, he would have definitely turned in. And here I'm going to catch him with just in the stern. And right here, I'm not going to fire yet. I'm waiting for him to use his uh, damage con. So I can use uh, my reload booster on him. He's repaired. It's time to go to work. But the sheer firepower that you're having with these uh, French destroyers, you are giving away. I got two fires. Watch how fast he melts. Two fires on him. He's, he's going to be dead. Okay. But the sheer firepower that you have and the speed, you can flex wherever you want on the map. And you can get caps that you couldn't have gotten with, say... I don't want to downplay other nations, but let's just say slower DDs, they can be a bully at a certain cap, but they're not moving to another cap. So if I was a slow DD and I was caught over at Alpha, I might not er, ever even got to leave. And the complaint about CVs, this is the second worst um, AA nation, as in DDs to me, and you don't have smoke, which the one that's worse than you has smoke. Right here, the Yugamo tried to sneak up on me. Notice I'm turning in. I want to be able to dodge his torps. And right in front of me, you'll see those torps. Here, I'm going to dodge in again, avoiding this uh, CV's torpedoes. I'm also dodging in because it's, it's going to put me closer to the Yugamo. But... I don't want, I want to be able to get all my torps off facing at him. Right here, I'm going to get my torps off again. I see about where he's at. More burst damage death. Um, but about the CVs, the French have the second worst AA rating. They have no smoke. Why are they still towards the top in win rates in a lot of different, uh, uh, they're, they're top at La Fantastique until you get to the top 5% of player base. Then it does go back to kid. But they're still in the top 2 or 3. Clabert still top probably 3 at the top 5%. But they have a lower AA rating. And why is that? Because they bring other attributes. Thank you. And what they do is their defense is at speed. They can flex around the map. They can get to these caps. But that speed makes it where they don't have to fight the CV as often as what other ships with slower speed has to do. Here we're already at three kills. Remember, I, I'm not really a big fan of uh, just getting the farms. Here I'm telling the Yugamo good game. Uh, he pulled a Notzer running into the island. I tell him, I'm telling him that I do the same thing all the time myself. But the French are still winning or doing pretty well, they're not at the bottom, but they have the worst AA defense. They have no smoke, and they have the second worst AA rating. That speed, that flexibility, just makes them so strong. Now, until you can tame that lack of detectability, and how to not fire and not be seen by the 
aircraft carriers, you are going to have challenging times. But if you stick it out and you take the time to get better at those things, you're going to excel. I can I can influence matches a lot better in my French than I can in even American. American, I love the American. I love the close range DPM. But you're still a support ship with the speed speed or lack of speed if you want to say compared to the French you're relegated to support as in you have the smoke you have AA those are great for helping your team but overall you're not going to have the huge damage or you're not going to have the huge kills and everybody could have one or two good games here and there or you know have a good stability at what you're doing but the French when tamed and learn to play correctly they can just influence the map so much influence the battle so much as in the damage as in the caps I know I cap just as often in my uh, French destroyers as I do other ones and a lot of CC's that's youtubers will say the French can't cap the French are farmers if you watch my videos, that's not how I play them. But you'll also notice in my videos, I get a ton of caps and I get a ton of kills. So I'm not really buying the, the CV is holding the DDs down because why are the French still doing well? The French are doing well because they bring speed to the table. It's an attribute that's not talked about very often. We're, we're, we talk about... AA rating, we talk about DPM, which we have great burst damage for the 15 seconds. They talk about concealment. They talk about great smoke. We don't talk about speed a lot, and I think that's a mistake. So my evaluation on the Mogador, if you can get used to... If you if you get to the task and are having trouble with the concealment difference between going from 6'4", um, I would wait to go to the Mogador until you're excelling at the La Fantastic. But after that, after you get used to it, the Mogador is going to be definitely an upgrade. So hopefully you guys can wait until you get to that point. But here you can see four kills, two caps. It didn't look like a super challenging game. You've seen that I got two of the DDs almost right off the bat. Got the third DD. And they even came two on one at me at one time. The firepower that you can throw out so fast, it, it can overwhelm DDs. But this is meta underscore man 2002. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. My clan, Meta underscore, is always looking for new players that want to come join the team and have a team atmosphere. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.